last year I was very negative about being single. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die alone. I'm gonna die ever so alone. Whereas this year I'm trying to be a bit more positive about things. So instead of saying that, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die independently. Um, <laughs> It is a choice and it is mine, thank you. Now you might be wondering why we are sitting right by a boxing ring. You are obviously a black belt in Taekwondo. I love that you say obviously. <laughs> and you said that you'd like to do more sporty sort of stuff as well. People think because I have this voice <laughs> that I can't kick butt. Yeah. But let me tell you, I've never been mugged. <laughs> Squats is like this, hands here, down, up. Five of those. Can you do that again? I didn't understand it. Ah, so we're here, <laughs> we're down, and then we're up. Down, yeah. and then we're up. Got it? So now, I'm going to take it to the next level. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> So what was it like? Because you recently starred in Celebrity 5 Go Camping. Yeah. What was it like being a celebrity on the show rather than hosting? The weird thing is, like, I'm new to all this, so I'm going to get a load of people being like, who is that? I was definitely out of my comfort zone. Having snuggles with Joe Swash. Nice. I was having, like, Michelle. Like, with Michelle, you could have a bit of a moan, like, like, like thank you, Mike. I'm like, <laughs> this is so hard. I really hate my life right now. You also have 79 credits on your website. That's including radio, writing and presenting. Thank you. Right. Where do you get your work ethic from? Well, I didn't grow up with money, yeah. like most presenters, <laughs> actors, performers. Like, I had to always earn my own money. But one, I actually do really like my job. And two, I'm always scared one, it's just going to go away one day and no one's going to give you any work. So I just say yes to everything, which is how you end up camping with Cheryl Baker. <laughs> so you've um, said before that sometimes some critics can be a bit lazy yeah. in their reviews and that, you know, so you can maybe be pushed to perform to more of a female audience. What do you think can be done for gay comedians in TV. Yeah, I think it's kind of like everyone, we're so, we can, all we can deal with now is box ticking. Mm -hmm. Like we can't deal with depth. We really struggle with the idea of like two female presenters or yeah, let's put three true. gay guys on one panel show. We really struggle with that idea because it's like, but you do the gay job as if it's just mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like we're all the same. And so, yes, I can go out on a Saturday night and do rude stuff, yeah, but yeah. you've given me 20 minutes in Hull and they want the rude stuff, so that's what they're having. But also, if you give me two hours, you'd probably see the rude stuff, my thought on politics, you'd hear about my recent heartbreak and my tears, that you'd hear it all. You are currently performing on your new show, Our Kid. Yes. What's, what are some of the topics you cover in that? Nothing's off the table, really. Yeah, Every yeah. show's different depending on how the audience is, because I like okay. to talk to the audience. I've just started internet dating, and. Jennifer Hudson is right, like, love is a battlefield. <laughs> so I talk a lot about that. Yeah. <laughs> talk about my job at the NHS okay. and how I'm not supposed to because I signed a contract saying I wouldn't talk about my job at the NHS. <laughs> but here we are. But here we are. I've got to make a show. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an <laughs> absolute <laughs> pleasure. Us. We can't wait to see more of your work. Thanks for having me.